I think there's a common misconception that people think when they buy a foreclosure that they're going to get a fantastic deal. Is that always the case? Well, not entirely. And in this video, I will go over the foreclosure process, explain what it is, and explain the risks involved with buying a foreclosure. My name is Greg Axford. I run a real estate team out of the Tri-Cities. That's Coquitlam, Port, Coquitlam and Port Moody in Greater Vancouver. My whole goal of this channel is to make educational real estate videos to help you if you're thinking of buying or selling real estate. And if you have any questions, please, by all means, type them in the comments below. I'd be happy to make a video on anything that's at the top of your mind. And if you'd like to book a private consultation, you can click the link below. There's a Calendly link that will allow you to choose a time that's convenient to talk about selling, talk about buying, or talk about anything that's on the top of your mind. And if you found this video or any of the videos I've made helpful, I would really appreciate if you could click the like button. That'll help get this information out to other amazing people like yourselves. And by all means, please click the subscribe button. That will notify you whenever uh, one of my new videos comes out. So what is a foreclosure? Well, it's typically that um, while you owe somebody money and you're behind in your payments. So the most common one is uh, the bank. A bank will foreclose on you if you haven't made several mortgage payments. Stratas also have the ability to foreclose on you if you haven't paid your strata fees up to a certain point. Um, and sometimes even the city if you're behind in property taxes. Now it's important to keep in mind that usually people do not want to foreclose on you. Uh, banks especially, it's a timely and costly experience for them. So if you're behind, uh, it is definitely worth talking to the bank to try to uh, plead with them and uh, buy a little more time. Uh, they do not want to go through this process unless they feel it is absolutely necessary. So what's different between a foreclosure sale and well, just a, a regular sale? One of the things that's different is the bank is the seller, but the owner is the owner. And typically the owner is allowed to live in there, which makes it sometimes a little bit awkward for showings. And well, I don't blame them if I was being foreclosed on probably wouldn't be entirely happy with it and I probably wouldn't really want to be all cooperative and keep my house tidy and neat uh, for showings. And this kind of leads into the second thing that's different is the bank will want what's called a schedule aid attached to your offer. Uh, this is a bunch of lengthy wording that basically says that the bank will assume no responsibility uh, the house is sold as is, where is, and what you get is what you get, and you will not have any recourse. So this is the first reason that I do not like foreclosures. There's just a ton of risk involved. Uh, I do not like the uncertainty for a buyer that they do not know what they're going to get at the end of the day, especially if the owner's still living in there. They're not happy. They may take the appliances. They may take the light fixtures. They may punch holes in the walls. I've seen and heard of a lot of different things happen that were not a pleasurable experience for the buyer once they got the keys. Now the offer process is very similar to a regular offer on a regular house, the first offer I should say. So somebody submits an offer, the bank can counter, they can accept it or they can decline it. Now if there's an agreement met and you are allowed to have subjects and you can do your due diligence so you can make sure that the bank will lend you the money, uh, have subject to financing, you can do an inspection uh, and do your due diligence um, and then once your subjects are removed the deposit is turned into a trust account and then a court date is set. So the foreclosure process with court has changed since the pandemic. Uh, Pre-pandemic, uh, the lawyer, you would show up in court, the, lawyer, the, the bank's lawyer would be there, you would show up with your offer and preferably your client. And then typically what will happen is other people will show up that are hoping to put a bid and win that house as well. Now things have done a little bit differently. Everything's sent electronically to the listing realtor two days prior to court date. So if there are other people that are interested in putting an offer in on the house, uh, the listing realtor is allowed to disclose what the accepted offer price is. And then you as the buyer can decide if you'd like to bid over that or not. And typically what happens here is there's always one, at least one person that gets a little bit more emotionally attached to the house. Maybe they're gonna call it their home versus an investor or somebody that's looking to come in and flip the property. And that person will usually offer a little bit more or a lot a bit more than the initial bid price. And from what I've seen, it often ends up selling for market value and sometimes even a little bit more than market value. 
And lastly, another reason that I do not like foreclosures is there's just a lot of uncertainty. So once the initial offer is accepted and the they try to set a court date, typically it takes about four to eight weeks to set a court date, in which case you as the buyer are stuck in limbo waiting for that. And once it gets to the court date, uh, you do have the possibility that you're getting going to be uh, outbid or other people are going to come to the party and put in an offer. Um, and the owner of the property can show up in court and uh, pay the bill, which I think is great if they can do that and get their house back, fantastic. But you as the buyer are SOL. Uh, or they can beg for mercy from the judge and see if they can plead their case to the judge and sometimes the judge will grant some extra time. So there's some question marks that if you're looking to buy, it um, is definitely plus the risk involved with it. Um, not sure if it's worth it or are you better off just to maybe go down and buy the house down the street that's just a regular sale. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I've added a little insight into the foreclosure process. If you have further questions, please type them into the comments below. I'm happy to answer and happy house hunting.